Hey, crickets! Shut up out there!
They're out there eating on the flowers right now. They don't even care if we're out here. Oh, let me shut that door. We're going to redo it. Got this today. I got a bunch of stuff to open, but I'm only going to open this. Who's leaving? Oh, come on, watch this. Oh, the blue one. I couldn't even remember what color I got. But there's a story behind it. Look, it's got the little beard up challenge. Down the back. But if you notice, it's missing a barbershop review. Now, when I ordered this, um, I ordered it towards the end of the week when people had to qualify. But um, or I designed it, and then I took it off and reordered. Well, I ordered this one accidentally, and barbershop review is joined. So I tried to cancel it, and um, Teespring said that it was too late. It was already in print, and uh, I couldn't cancel it. They did say that they were going to um, uh, give me a rebate, and I could uh, get the right one, but uh, then they messaged me and said that they were sorry they couldn't cancel it. I could keep this sweatshirt. And they would still refund me my money. So they refunded me my money. I got this sweatshirt. And uh, I'm just 
going to take the uh, cricket and add. We'll take the cricket and add the barbershop reviews to this. Then we'll go to the real one. That's pretty cool. Bronx and Teespring. It's windy out here. Can you hear us? Or is it too windy? Just harvest our potatoes. Send out a package to BTD. He's getting a box of chocolates. So if you haven't uh, stealing her coffee. But um if you don't know British tea drinker, check out his channel, connect with him. Uh, you should get it by Friday. And um, that'll be really fun to watch him open it. Kind of hard to hear with the wind. Let me see if I can get you a little closer and a little closer to the. No. Is that better? Can you hear us now? Let me know if you can hear us. So I just, I was saying that I did, we just sent out a mystery box to BTD. We just started a playlist on our channel of all the mystery boxes that we've sent out so far. So if you haven't seen all of them, you can go back and check those out. Um, hi, Dee. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. We have some really good videos or vlogs coming up. Uh, I'm trying to release every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I have so much stuff that I've just created multiple playlists. I'm sure everything's not for everybody, um, but it all, it's all enjoyable to me, I think. So um, check them out if you can. They are getting better. Uh, I'm learning a lot more, so that's pretty cool to see. And uh, yeah. Our dogs are trying to get out. There's a vlog coming up with our dogs, or at least AB. It focuses on AB. They're both in that. Um, there's some artsy stuff coming up that's uh, a little, you know, out of the box. And uh, my Beard Up Challenge video is coming up pretty soon. So lots of stuff to watch. If you ever get bored or you don't you can't find something on YouTube, uh, Click over to our channel. There's something there that will probably be entertaining to you. Yeah, the pups are good. And Annabeth, the interesting thing is Annabeth, AB, um, is the dominant dog of the two, but Basil is a much bigger and stronger dog. But she's very passive aggressive. So that's kind of interesting to watch. Same way with these... Uh, Hummingbirds—they're always chasing each other around here, and uh, some of the smaller ones are more aggressive than the bigger ones. But they chase them away. They got better acrobatics. We have a video with that up too. We got a lot of good uh, close-ups and uh, slow-mo shots where they take off straight up in the air, or they dodge bugs, or you know another hummingbird. But they do this all day long, mainly. In early in the morning, late at night. So before we go to work or when we get home, we'll sit out here on the deck, on the porch. Deck, porch, whatever this is. There's no roof, so I guess it's a deck. And uh, they just, they come right up to you. I mean, they'll get within yeah, a foot or so of your face. Right at your head. You'll think they're going to run into you. Yep. And Shed Wars, we're in Shed Wars. Um, that's uh there's four teams team woodcutter which is the team i'm on uh team aquarius team will it grow and team over the pond now if you search uh hashtag shed wars all those um videos will come up or you can go to the arkansas woodcutters channel he has a playlist with all and he even splits them up between the teams um but it's all about growing produce. Um, it's from it's from channels all across the world, 
and uh, it's stuff that they've grown all summer long, tips on how they grew it, and then we all, we've been weighing all the produce, produce that we've been growing, and the team that grows the most produce, uh, I guess, is going to win bragging rights or whatever. But it's more of a um, a time to, to, to learn what you don't know and share what you do know. So it's a pretty cool uh, group of, of videos. There's, I've learned quite a bit from uh, all the different things, and it's nice to see what everybody's growing, and everybody's kind of sharing on there, too. Aaron said our potatoes are amazing. Hi, Oji son. They, they, were, they were good. We're not going to complain, but usually we have more than what we did. What? Potatoes. Yeah, the potatoes didn't do real good this smells. year. Um, normally, we grow red potatoes. That's our favorite thing to grow. They do really well. We have sandy soil. And um, this year, uh, we use the seed potatoes that we have from the following year to grow potatoes, you know, the year that we're growing. So we end up eating almost all of our red potatoes. So we didn't have a lot of red seed potatoes to plant. We got mostly... Um, there's some dark russets, the uh, white and yellow potatoes, which are like an Idaho and uh, I don't know what the yellow ones are, Yukon gold type of potato. And then we planted three different types of fingerlings, and they're more of a smaller potato. Sometimes they'll get a little bigger, but they're, they're not gritty at all. They're just, they're more of a creamy potato and they're, they're high in flavor. Um, that takes quite a few of them, but and we got a lot of those. I mean, we ended up with 123 pounds of potatoes this year, and we put out more, all the seed potatoes we had. I know it's windy. I'm sorry. I got the muff on. We could probably go inside. If I get about 10 people in here, which we only have four right now, I'm going to open some other stuff. I got some mail. But I kind of want to share it with everybody. So if you share this out, I'll stay on, you know, for another 15, 20 minutes or as long as there's people in here. And we have something to talk about. But if we get about 10 people in here, I got a few other things I want to open up. Um, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to the meetup in September down in Kingsport, Tennessee. See Big Joe and Malia's world, so that'll be a lot of fun. I'm hoping to can't wait to see Kenneth Oaks down there. I'm hoping we can do some sort of a, a hot food challenge with Kenneth while we're down there. Um, maybe some fishing and stuff like that. But super excited to meet meet him. And I haven't confirmed that we'll do a hot challenge, but um, he likes hot food, so I don't think he's going to have a problem with that. Uh, but they got a lot of challenges and stuff going on down there, they said, so we'll probably get in on some of that. Hi, Going Green Mom. Nice to have you here. We are the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla. This is Tammy, and I'm Jeff. And uh, we live in Northwest Ohio. And we. Our channel is about finding the art in everything. We like to find art in everyday life and share it with everyone and promote art. We also like to promote living and eating in it inexpensively, being uh, brutal with what you have, and uh, you know, taking life as it comes. Would you sign up some extra death nut? I will do the death nut challenge with you. I'm, you're the first person that's asked me. I have no problem with hot food. So, but every, we, we, we don't have a certain, um, you know, I don't just teach about gardening. I don't just talk about art. I don't just do tattoos. I don't just paint or draw. Uh, I do promote a lot of channels that do just that. Um, because I feel they're worth watching. And, um, but ours is more of an everyday life type of thing. I break up our videos into playlists in case you're into one thing more than another. 
but I also put everything into an our, our all video playlist. So if you kind of like everything, you can just watch through our uh, all video playlist. That'd be everything we do. And if you only like a few certain things, you can go to a certain playlist and probably get a lot of the same thing over and over. So that's how I've kind of simplified things for you. But we're working on a second channel, um, but it's not going to be anything like what we're doing now. Um, I'll share that with you once I get it up and running. Um, unless you have kids, you probably won't be interested in it, but maybe grandkids but i'll tell you more about that later that's future a future thing i love hearing the can you hear the hummingbirds they're chattering yeah they're just so a lot of fun to watch they're diving at each other let me see if i can turn this around you might be able to see them that went above the house So we'll see if you can see any hummingbirds now. But Very too high. I don't think so. All right, we're sitting at the far end of this. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us on there? I can't see the chat from here. Stealing her coffee again, though. One feet right now. Well, I don't know. I have to go watch our hummingbird video to see them up close, I guess. It's not going to work. Dogs are out now, so I don't know. They don't mind the dogs, though. Nope. Hold your son. You like this sweatshirt? Can you see it? Let me take it off. Off the ground. All right. Look. They don't make they you can't get this one. See Roy and Becky's travel it says squirrel. If you've ever seen their live feed, you'll know what that means. But let me see if I can. see it's missing uh it's missing um barbershop review on here. So I canceled it, but they, they just refunded me my money and sent it to me anyways. Perhaps the Teespring. So I'm going to add barbershop reviews to this and buy the regular one. The regular one's got um, the reg. Yeah, check it out, Karen. Some of that stuff's really cool. And you know what? If you can't find something you like on there and you got a better idea, tell us and I'll, uh, I'll design something for your likes. But uh, uh, search. What I want to say is if you go to our Teespring store, do a little bit of searching through there because um, every listing has multiple options, multiple colors. Um, some are two sided and some are not. So if you don't want the I, I am what I am, we have some designs without that on it. Uh, and 
Some of the backs say Gypsy Lives Matter. Some of the backs have our logo the on the motorcycle on it. So, yeah, there's a lot of different designs. Take a little bit of time and search through there because some of them are accessories like um, pet sweaters, uh, coffee mugs, bags. There's a, probably something for everybody on there. Um, I also have Gypsy Crick, Ochison, who's on here in the chat, who designed Gypsy Crick. And that mashup between Ochison and uh, Gorilla Style Gypsy Life with our logo in the, the sunset uh, with the Gypsy Crick below it, that is being made into an acrylic pen right now. Uh, they're kind of like an enamel pen, but they're just smooth. And it'll be a one and a quarter by one and a quarter pin. I will only have 10 of those, but they will be for sale or maybe giveaways on the channel. So watch for those. That'll be coming up. I'm not sure exactly what exactly we'll do with them. Um, they may go in our mystery boxes, which if you are interested in our mixed mystery boxes, we have a playlist that shows all the mystery boxes we've sent out. The way you can get a mystery box is by commenting on one of our videos or a few of our videos. And every month we pick a couple different channels. Now, you do have to have a YouTube channel um, to, to get a mystery box because we require that you hashtag it, the Gypsy and Vanilla Gorilla mystery box, so that I can find it and add it to the playlist. But we, we will send out. Uh, a couple channels every month who have commented on our videos, uh, a mystery box according to what they like on their videos. So it, it is kind of incorporated to their video. It'll be, it's all, it's been a lot of fun so far. We have a lot of fun putting them together. Uh, I think everybody has a lot of fun opening them and watching them. So it's something we're going to continue to do. And um, this month we sent a box out to. British Tea Drinker and Techno Hillbilly will be getting one if I ever get his address, which I have not seen. So if any of you know how Techno is doing, um, let him know I'm looking for him. And um, I have one more kind of put together, but uh, they haven't commented on any of my videos yet. So. He is. Uh, will it grow? You can buy a beard uh, beard shirt from either myself or Bob. Bob's Bob's Adventure on Wheels is his channel name now. You can go and talk to him to get your own team merchandise for your team, Will it Grow? But uh, if you want just a generic um, to support our cause, which is the money that from the from the Beard Up Challenge 2020 shirts, $10 from each one of those shirts or sweatshirts. Um, I priced them through Teespring so that there's a $10 profit. That profit goes to Ivy's Forge and Homestead. You can check out his channel also. Ivy's. Hi, BTD. Uh, Ivy's Forge and Homestead. You can check out uh, his channel. It talks all about his forge and what he's doing, but he's brought and he has brought vets into uh, his forge, and he's taught them the basics of blacksmithing. Now we want to make we wanna, he was already going to do this, but we want to help him make his forge better and more accessible to more veterans, so they can learn the basics and the art of blacksmithing, get their mind off of things. I know there's a huge. Uh, I have, my dad is a veteran, my brother's active, um, my uncle was a veteran, I have veterans and people in the military in my family, I was not a veteran, but I highly, um, well, I highly, um, I do support them, and I highly regard what they've done, and I appreciate it, you know, I have a lot of respect for the veterans. Um, Hi, Cindy. So, that brings me to my next point. Next month's mystery boxes. This month was BTD, Techno Hillbilly, and there's a possible third. So, you're going to want to connect with your channels 
That way you can see their boxes that they open. Next month is Adventures in the Heartland and Cindy's Place. And they both have channels. So check out Adventures in the Heartland and Cindy's Place. Connect with them. They'll be getting a uh, mystery box in September. Yeah, September. So I need addresses from both of you. Of course, those are pending if we get addresses from those people. But my email is uh, Mordecai, M-O-R-T-I-Q-U-A-I. M-O-R-T-I-Q-U-A-I at gmail.com. So you can contact us there. Now, we do have, uh, you know, we go thrifting, we are resellers, but we also have a full-time job in construction. Uh, a lot of the construction stuff, I do put some of the stuff on there, but we're not a construction teaching channel. So if I do it, it's usually a time lapse or something like that, or maybe a tip or something that you need to um, remember, like flushing out your water heater every three years. We just did that to a few houses, and um, it's something that you should do. Drain your water heater out, flush it, and uh, let it fill back up. Uh, sometimes if there's a lot of corrosion, you should get in there and clean it with a uh, shop vac, and I use a piece of PVC or PEX plumbing to reduce the size of the hose. You can get it right in through your either element hole or um, yeah, through your element hole, right? The lower element unit. I'll take that out. I'll clean out all that uh, debris that's at the bottom of that. So it's something you should do at least once every three years. Those of you that have RVs, it'll be a lot easier because your water heater will be a lot smaller. But um, it will increase the life of your water heater. But I don't do a lot of that stuff. We're more of an art focused channel. So you may get some of that, but not too much. Um, but the items that we do find, the treasures that we find, we sell on, uh, we have a dollar auction site. Most everything starts at a dollar on e on our Facebook page. Now, mostly the most, mostly who we sell to are local people around the area. They come and pick it up. They don't have to do any interaction. They pick it up out of a box, leave the money in a money box. They have a little, you know, doorbell cam that watches everything. So, um, but we do offer shipping, and um, I have um, I have some discounted shipping rates because we're a mass shipper. So I will give you our rates, whatever that may be. We do ship uh, to eBay at least uh, once to twice a week, sometimes more. So we do a lot of shipping, and we're familiar with that. We have a whole eBay room that we process our stuff. Everything gets cleaned. Everything is checked. Everything's authentic. And, uh, you know, that's just something we do on the side. So um, if there is something you see that we get and you like it or want it or can't live without it, just contact us and we'll, we will be able to get that to you. We sell things pretty much wholesale prices. So if you do find something that we found, um, you're probably not going to find it anywhere else cheaper. So we're really um frugal about that people uh always come back and keep buying stuff from us because of that but we like to turn stuff over and we we get a lot of uh inventory and so we recycle it by selling it cheap so if you get a hold of us there's probably there's probably a good chance you'll end up with whatever it is you want so um best way to contact us is find us on facebook or you can email us uh, at our about page has everything. And on Instagram, we now in our bio has our Linktree account, which Linktree I've just found. And they link every one of our sites, our Teespring, our Facebook, our Instagram, our Patreon. Anything that has to do with us is all in one location. You click on the Linktree uh, link in our bio on instagram and uh, you can find that through facebook or youtube or anything you'll go to our instagram underneath our 
info or biography, you'll click on click on that link. It'll take you to everything that has to do with us. So you'll be able to contact us some way and just let us know what it is that you wanted and um, we'll, we'll figure out some way to get it to you. So pretty exciting. Um, we have nine people in here. I might go get this stuff. If you guys want to see me open the this other mail then I said 10, but nine's close enough. I'll leave you here to talk to the gypsy. Take AB. And I'll take AB in the house. We have a look at that. Look how that is so much better to look at than me. We have Come on, a, B. a little hen of our last batch of chicks that she's a lot smaller than the rest. Come on, Basil. I don't know. I thought something was wrong with her. Oh. For a while now. I mean, she eats and drinks, but she's she's real stick to herself. And so last night we moved her from the chicken coop to her own little pen. And AB doesn't like birds of any sort. She attacks them. So every chance she gets to come out, that's what she wants to do is go right to that little dog kennel and try to get that little hen out of there. But we're trying to nurse her back to being a little bit stronger because the other the other chicks are mean to her. How did you bring? Everything. Pretty much. All right. All right, so um, we just picked up this weather radio. We started a um, a uh, Wednesday outdoor kind of playlist, and uh, we have uh, two videos on there, but uh, the next one's going to be um, either my knife collection or what's in my tackle box that we got from John on Adventures in the Heartland. So I got about 15% left to power, and we're going to die or have to move inside. So I'm going to talk about what's going on. We have picked up this ambient weather um, radio. Now, I have one of these, but I charge it with a micro USB. This one came with an AC adapter, but it's also solar or crank. It will give you the weather when you're out camping. It came with some earplugs. Um, it has AM, FM radio, and then the weather band. So somebody's going to, with this radio, and this, which I wish uh, Trail Trash, yeah, Trav and Mav was here because... They really like this. This is on one of our videos that we uploaded was the Ferro Rod uh, Fire Start uh, without an edit. And uh, excuse me. The item that we used was this lighter holder with this switchblade like knife on it. And a big lighter goes in here. So I, I put a link to where to get those at, but when I went, there was only one left. Um, so I don't know if anybody bought them yet or not, but I bought the last one. And somebody is going to get win this. Now, the way you win it is on my next outdoor-based video, comment on that video, anything. And I'm going to randomly take the names of everybody that comments on that outdoor video. And I'm going to pick a name. First winner gets choice. Second winner gets what's left. So outdoor solar radio or switchblade pick holder knife. Two great gifts. Now, oh, my mail blew off the thing. Yeah. We'll walk across the stones to get that.
that letter that blew off for me. So I got a letter while she's doing that. I got a letter from Defiance County Fair Horseshoe Club. The Horseshoe Club at the Defiance County Fair. They're still going to have the horseshoe tournaments this year. They're just going to do it in sections so everybody can see socially distance. All pitchers will be notified by phone as to the time and date of pitching. Trophies will be awarded. Wow, that money. So that'll be fun. Even though the fair is not going on this year, they're still going to have um, horseshoe pitching. So that's exciting. Now, I'll probably do a separate video with this because I I found this person on Facebook and um, they were advertising stickers and they were called uh, Cameron Art or Cameron something art. I'll put a link um, maybe in the description of this or when I do this video. But they were selling three stickers for $5, custom design stickers. I really love the stickers. So um, I, bought, I purchased them off of them, and that was with shipping. So $5, three stickers with shipping. That's a great deal. Now, this must be a good person. Hopefully you can still hear me. I'm gonna turn it this way. Maybe the wind won't, won't won't hit it so much. But um, so they were very excited that I purchased them, and I told them that I would um, put a, you know send them the link of when I was opening this, and they said, "Well, I was just glad to see our stickers being bought by somebody outside of their state." So um. Let's get right into this, and I'll show you what the stickers look like. The, the note, I won't, may not read it all, but it says, Thank you so much for your purchase and support. I love that you love these stickers. I also am just so glad these babies are being seen outside of my hometown. Knowing these sticky stickers are in a whole other state makes my serotonin boost 10 times thank you so much wish you the best hey we wish you the best too cameron art and um check out these stickers they're really cool such great designs now ojisan he was in the chat here i don't know if he still is or not and white witch they're both uh very artistic okay. channels uh Handmade Blessings by D. Cobb is also a very artistic channel. Will It Grow is a very good channel to go to if you want to learn about gardening. He is artistic, too, in his own way. Hopefully this will get it good enough. But I'm going to do a separate vlog on this. But that's like a toadstool with a toad. It's all pointillism. The stickers are cut out. They're not square. They're, they're uh, you know, custom cut. They're just on that piece of white paper. And then there's a snail, which I've got my next video, you'll see, has a slug, not a snail. There's no shell. But it's a really cool piece. You'll check that out. Uh, I'm not sure when that releases. Tomorrow... Man, you have to watch the video because this isn't coming in real good. Doesn't do it justice. Does not do it justice, but I will do a separate video on these stickers for Cameron. And a little uh, garden gnome there. Aren't those cool? So garden gnome, a snail, and a little toad to told toadstool toad. I love the stickers. Love them. Now, we were inside it. I put my pictures, my sticker picture up with all the channels on it. So next time we go live, if we're inside, you'll get a chance to see all those stickers we put up. We have added some to it. Honey and Me has been added to it. What did I say? Picture? 
it's a window, window. It's a window. sticker window. Uh, it's kind of like a picture hanging on our picture wall, but it is a window. Um, and we added uh, trail trash outdoors on there. Uh, he said that Tech Tales of Techno Billy just designed her new stickers and banner. Really? Good job. Both great channels. Tales uh, of the Techno Hillbilly and Anime Blessings by DCOM. Both good channels. Check them out. Very artistic channels. Tales of the Techno Hillbilly is very, very artistic too in his video presentation. So definitely channels to go check out. A lot of fun to watch. So um, those were the stickers. These are the giveaways. And uh, all good stuff. Where did our uh, carpet bagger go? I never saw it. And we got a uh, a uh, postcard from Carpetbagger. Uh, I can't remember. It must have blew away or something. That could be. So I'm going to try these here coming up. These are uh, Pete. Jam and Gems, PB and J, peanut butter filled wafers with raspberry jam. Look at that. Looks pretty good, huh? It says three grams of protein. So, am I the only one that eats peanut butter in the morning, or just do you get up and eat just a spoonful of peanut butter? That's what I do. Anybody else? Yeah, that's it. I think. Was it over by the thing? No. Oh. Well, this isn't it, but this is one we got. And then uh, he kind of signs it back. But every month we get another one from Carpet Bagger. And we really enjoy the Carpet Bagger's channel, kind of our. Uh, Get away when you can't get away. Um, Jules Small Gardening, great channel. Um, Saxy Matt, great channel. Misfits and Dreamers, great channel. Um, who else? Uh, Highland um, Homestead, great channel. Cindy's Place, great channel. Um, Arkansas Woodcutter, um, The Bulls Garden, I checked out The Bulls Garden, another great channel, Trail Trash Outdoors, Money and Me, um, Boardman, uh, aka Kenneth Oaks, who else do we watch all the time? Uh, Bob's Adventures on Wheels. White Witch. White Witch 110. Hella Artsy Dude. Check out Hella Artsy Dude. He was on here earlier. He's got a really cool channel. He's redoing a panel van. Uh, he does some uh, crafting stuff. He made some signs for a uh, garden that were really cool. And uh, yeah, you have to go check him out. Um, slow Momentum. You guys probably all know those guys. one of the knives that we're, that's going to be in. I don't know if this will be. Let me see if I can get better light.
Sorry about the crackle. Whole set of Damascus knives, and that'll probably be the outdoor one, or it might be our uh, tackle box. But uh, found some of these 1963 Popular Science magazines. I got about 15 of them. Pretty cool stuff inside there. You know, Popular Science is always trying to predict the future and back in 68. That's uh, pretty cool. If you haven't seen our Hot Wheels, there's a huge Hot Wheels collection uh, vlog up that we just put up last Friday. You can go back and check that out. But I also got this uh, Hot Wheels collector book inside with a lot of that stuff. It talks everything about that. And I found some of these old country music magazines, and this one has Dolly Parton in it. But there's uh, Hank Williams and 1977, so this magazine is as old as I am. And that's what Dolly looked like when I was born. Years ago. Maybe. Yeah. So, phone's gonna die soon. Maybe. I thank everybody for coming. Hey, Samantha's here. How are you? Then I have them done for you. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Draw your own tattoos and then have them done. That way, it's your own. Uh, Original art. That's the way to do it. Yeah, I only give tattoos to family and some friends. So, you have a NASCAR collection. Hey, I we'll stay on here and talk. Let's go inside though, because uh, this is gonna die. I gotta plug it in. We're right back. All right. Inside now. See our. Uh... All right. Whoa. See our window. Everything's backwards. So we got the uh, Roy and Becky's travels. Art of RVing, New Horizons, Destination Delight, Gus from the Krabby Camper. If you haven't seen them on the Art of RVing, they're a lot of fun to watch. Our channel, Stickers, Bob's Adventure, when he was still Bob's Adventure, Trail Trash Outdoors, Tuck and Sammy. We love Tuck and Sammy from Tucker Upper. I don't know if you guys have checked them out, but... Uh, they're a lot of fun to watch. And Honey and Me. And the Gypsy Jeanette, which is Artist on the Road. So there's Artist on the Roads. If you guys want a sticker swap with us, just uh, email us and we will sticker swap with you. I have many rear cars all in the package mint condition. Whew. That's awesome, man. I think you meant rare cars, probably. Like Bobby Labonte or something? Who's rare? Will it grow? Who would be a rare NASCAR? Cindy's place. You out of here? Have a wonderful evening. Thanks for coming by. You're getting a package next month. Ernie Irvin's a rare one. 
Annabeth, no fighting. He's mouthy. Wow, the, the quality on my screen is 10 times better than the quality on my computer. I'm going to shut this off. Maybe I can get a better feed. Um, maybe that'll improve our quality feed because it was coming in really pixelated. We have pretty good internet uh, for being out in the country. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, NASCAR was saw, pretty big around here. We just here. saw the uh, Beth Gordon signed sign picture. picture. No, it was a newspaper. Of the newspaper. It was a newspaper from Indi it was an Indianapolis newspaper from the Indianapolis Daytona picture of him winning the Indianapolis Daytona 500 and uh, he signed the front of that newspaper of the picture of him winning at um, I guess a later date but um, it was all framed up and stuff and what does that say? GI German Dining. Uh, Bone Daddy 2. That's a channel I did not mention, but uh, they just uploaded a video. I just got an alert, and uh, they're a really great channel, too. Check out Bone Daddy 2. Um, they're very fun to watch. Their vlogs are very entertaining. Um, so a lot of fun. Everything Spicy is a very good channel. Um, I enjoy it. Bill over at Everything Spicy, Sty, all of those. Um, they're a lot of fun to, to watch and be a part of. Um, I have chosen not to go up on their live feeds um, for uh, different reasons, but um, they're definitely worth checking out um, and hanging out with. So go check out Everything Spicy or Sty North. They're really good channels to, to hang out with, um, and they do a lot of fun stuff. So um, I encourage you all to go connect with them if you haven't. Uh, they are definitely worth watching. And I think Ojasan um, may have challenged. I don't know. He wasn't real clear on a death nut. I know he did it with uh, Phil. Uh, maybe something I'm going to try to do in the near future. I have no problem with hot food. That doesn't bother me at all. Um, but, uh, will it grow? If you want to see some of my tomatoes, check out, uh, British, British tea drinker. I just sent him some, uh, some stuff. There are tomatoes in there. Um, it's kind of like a box of chocolates. He doesn't know what he's going to get. So it ought to be pretty fun to watch him open that. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a good time. And then techno. We need your address. Techno Tales of the Techno Hillbilly. Scott. He said she was going to tell him. Need your address, buddy. So I haven't seen him around. We were talking quite a bit, but um, he must be busy. He's getting busy, which is okay. That's good. BTG says can't wait for him to get a mater. Yeah, get yourself a mater sandwich, British. Ha, ha, ha. BTD. We love it. They are so light and um, they have such a great personality. They do karaoke on Saturday nights. It's a lot of fun. Um, we try to make it. Sometimes when it comes on, I do listen to it in the background. I don't jump up and sing even though I've said that I would for two weeks and haven't. I plan on coming back. Um, but we get so busy and I get wore out today. I feel pretty good. Um, we got done at a fairly decent hour. Um, I harvested most of everything before. We did make some uh, garlic powder, and I'm uploading a vlog on how to make your own garlic powder if you have garlic. Um, if you don't have garlic, you can check out one of our channels to see how you can grow your own garlic or um, 
you can even do it in a pot in your house. So it's not that hard to do. I encourage anybody and everybody to try to grow their own food. Uh, be self-sustaining as much as possible. Um, we've decided this is kind of our um, guerrilla style gypsy life, uh, the whole ordeal on our branding and everything that we've done. A guerrilla style gypsy life is a life that is sustainable, a life that um, is inexpensive, both in life and in food, but we are fulfilled. We have, uh, we are focusing more on um, things that matter, things that work, things that we know work, um, and enjoying whatever life brings us. That's kind of the guerrilla style gypsy life that we're talking about. You know, life tells you all kinds of cards and you can get upset and you look back and you feel bad about getting upset and it really didn't change anything anyways. Or you can just take life as it comes, make the best out of everything and find the art in everything in life. And that's kind of what we do. We try to find the, the art in life and everything, uh, find something beautiful, something positive, something beneficial in everything in life. And, uh, that's how we take life every day, one day at a time that way. And uh, we want to share that with uh, everyone else, and we want everyone to come along and kind of be a part of that. So that's what Gorilla Style Gypsy Life is all about. I didn't want to single our channel out to one certain thing because I've grown a garden for many, many years. Um, but it wasn't because of me. Um, I had people in my life that's influenced me and kind of pushed me in that direction and uh, taught me things along the way. And her dad always had a great garden. And when he got to the point in his life that he couldn't have one, he always relied on me to help him with that garden. So um, I've just been kind of forced into that and I've learned things and I know how some things work and some things don't. And that's why I connect with some of these channels like Will It Grow and Arkansas Woodcutter, because there are a lot of things that I don't know. And I can learn from them. And there are some things that I know that I can share. But I don't claim to be, you know, a uh, professional gardenist or anything like that. I'm more of a jack of all trades. And so you're going to learn stuff on our channel. Um, but it's going to be kind of round of about. It's going to be entertaining while you get there. And hopefully when you get through with the vlog, something, you've taken something new with you. Um or at least just a smile, because I like to have fun with everything. Um, it's a different type of comedy than some people. And um, some of it's off the wall and some of it's a little hard. And, um, but I, I should have went for art major. Um, so a lot of this stuff is fairly deep. Um, I know in my past I got into a lot of things and... Um, I did take LSD um, when I was in high school. And so some of that stuff is kind of crazy. Um, and I like that type of stuff. So um, it's not dark or, um, but it is a little off the wall. And there is some crazy stuff on there. Um, but it's fun and entertaining, I think. Do you think? So, but you're going to find some stuff that, um, that is, teachable and uh we want you to be a part of this so if there's something that we do that you don't like critique us if there's something in the video that just gets boring say it you know um we want you to be a part of this family um be a part of our lives and uh be here as we grow as a channel and we'll grow with you guys so that's what this is all about and that's what we want to be a part of so if you want to grow with us and um, be part of this family, stick around. And um, we got a lot of stuff going on. We're going to travel. We do do some restaurant reviews. We do some uh, a few food reviews. But I like to share some of the stuff we find because um, uh, a lot of the stuff we find food wise, I haven't seen anywhere else. And I just want to share them with everyone else. I don't, we're not a food review channel. Sometimes I like to have fun with it because that's me doing my, um, my art thing. But, um, I love this family too. Like which and Samantha. Yep. 
and British, we love all of you guys. And you guys are kind of helping us. Uh, we see uh, everything that you're doing. We're supporting it. I may not always mm -hmm. comment, um, but we are watching all of your videos. And uh, we are watching you guys, and we are supporting you in ways you may not even know. So um, don't be discouraged. Keep pushing. And, um, yeah, good things are, are yet to come. I think we need to uh, keep our – Keep some common sense going, you know, encourage each other. And uh, ukulele. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of spilled now for over an hour. I wish I knew how to share this out, maybe get somebody up here. We're down to about five people. Which that's not too bad. Beard's coming in good. My new beard up uh, first beard up challenge 2020 video will be coming on real soon, and uh, I will go be doing a uh, little bit on my beard. I did have some uh, lip itches and stuff, and how I dealt with that. And uh, I have a I have kind of an idea of the creativeness that I'm going to go with at the beginning. So that ought to be kind of fun. We've uh, discussed it. I've kind of got everything planned out. So the opener ought to be a super fun, and then it'll be our first Beard Up Challenge. I'm also posting um, my beard every day, which I only started a few days ago, um, but day 17, 18, 19, all the way up through day 180. So the, my beard transformation will be recorded on Instagram. And it'll be labeled um, day whatever of 180 Beard Up Challenge. And then I'll probably go back and find all those and make some sort of a vlog in progression of all my beards or my beard progression throughout the 180 days. Now, Ivy, Ivy's Forge and Homestead, where the money is getting donated to them to help build their forge better so that they can help veterans learn the basics and the art of blacksmithing. Um, we're going to take this longer than 180 days. We're going to take this for the next year and a half. So um, the first part of this Beard Up Challenge is 180 days, but this Beard Up Challenge is going to go for a lot longer than that. So those of you that didn't want to shave, the first Beard Up Challenge, part one, you had to shave your beard off. It was very hard, challenging, took a commitment. Um, that was kind of the point. British uh, tea drinkers beard seven inches already. <laughs> Four days? Well, you should have joined the team. We could have used you. But mine's, this is day 18. I've actually kept it at this length before. It's not too bad. But, um... I'm going to grow for a year and a half, and um, Ivy and I are going to take it to a year and a half. The first part one, you had to shave, grow your beard. In February, part two will start. Those people can re-enter if they want. Some people won't want to keep their beard longer than that, so that's why we're doing it in parts. And then other guys, so talk about it and tell people, can join the Beard Up Challenge or girls that can grow a beard. And um, you don't have to shave. So we'll measure where you're at um, probably uh, March 1st. And then we'll measure again in six months. So um, it won't require shaving. So I may get more people involved. I think we have a total of maybe 10 channels involved in this first part. So check out their channels. It's Bob's Beard Adventure. Or Bob's Adventure on Wheels, Daydream About Nice Things, um, uh, Rainbow, and what was his name? There's another guy on Bob's team. Can't remember his name. Will It Grow is on Bob's team. And that may be it. 
And we have two people from Facebook who do not have channels, Mark Mallett and Chris Henderson, my brother-in-law. And then we also have uh, Barbershop Reviews, which was forgotten on this very first pre-ordered sweatshirt, and I'm going to add it to this. But it is on the new um, Pima Beardica sweatshirt on our Teespring store. Um, we also have um, Ojusan Arts and Roy from Roy and Becky's Travels. And I think that's it, Nuss. So those are the teams on both sides. Uh, go back, check out their videos. Their first video was pretty fun to watch on all of them. And that is in a playlist on our channel also, the Beard Up Challenge um, 2020. You can click that. And I think right now all I have is Team of Beard Up on that. I'm sure Bob has a playlist, but I'm going to add all the videos from Bob's team coming up shortly. Um, everyone should be getting a video out probably in September. We only required one per month. So um, they uploaded their first shaving one in August. They may not upload another one, but um, how to keep uh, pigeons away, silver pie pans, hang them from string, and the shiny movement will keep them away or scarecrow but like a fake uh, scarecrow out there and that'll keep them away they'll think people are out there see you later british tea drinker battered cod that sounds really good what are we having for supper we're having ca carne asada tacos homemade we have them about once a week i love to make them you can see one of our vlogs we've made them in the past but, yeah, they're really good. Lime, cilantro, some uh, beef uh, minced up, and um, corn tortillas. And it's and the, corn, the corn tortillas that make it. What's that? An onion. Right. Onion from the garden. Cilantro from the garden. Lime. We do not grow around here. But somebody gave us a bunch of them. And uh, the corn tortillas we don't make. We could, though. We got enough corn. British tea drinker says bye. Might as well it grow. BTD, I'm coming to your place. We have the silver curly thing, but he just made a deposit. Huh. All right, we'll go. We'll see you. Thanks, Thanks for coming by. We thank everybody for coming by. I think I'm going to wrap this up. We enjoyed seeing you all. Watch for uh, tomorrow. My daughter, yesterday, my daughter's um, 18th birthday vlog went up where we went out to eat at Applebee's, but my parents could not uh, go with us. They had other things going on. So we, to celebrate uh, her birthday with them, it's kind of hard with their, all this pandemic going on to have gatherings. But we went to their house and we made a Tennessee breakfast. My dad's from Tennessee. Um, it's one of our favorites. My daughter asked for it other than um, uh, Rose's uh, salsa, which was in Monday's vlog. But um, she asked for a Tennessee breakfast. So we went over to brunch with my parents. You'll get to see the kitchen that we remodeled for them. That's kind of our design and our handiwork. Um, so check that out. And we also cook. A Tennessee breakfast for my daughter for her 18th birthday. So it'll be a lot of fun. Check that out tomorrow. I think it releases at 9. Um, most of our videos are about um, two to three weeks ahead of time in schedule. And so a lot of the stuff that you see were two weeks prior. That's why I kind of get things screwed up on when things are happening. But um, I do upload some of the more important stuff that are time sensitive. I'll upload them to either Instagram, Facebook, or uh, sometimes that's why I upload two videos a day because one, the second one is something that was important or needed to go up. So um, my son's graduation from college is coming up, I think, Thursday. And Friday, Tammy cooks her first zucchini bread. 
Bakes, bakes. bakes her first zucchini bread. And you'll find out why it was her first zucchini bread. And you'll find out, um, you'll get to see her do the whole thing. I'm just the cameraman. Tam Tammy's the store, the gypsy's the star of this show. And um, we even include the bloopers at the end. So check around at the end, stay, stick around for the end of that vlog. You'll get to learn how to make zucchini bread, which turned out really good. Um, so you'll get that recipe. It's Tammy's first time. And you get to see the bloopers at the end of it. So stick around for that. And until next time, we'll see you guys. Find the art and everything. We love y'all. Yeah. Peace, guys.